able to fix my solar power ear pump here. And what happened was that water got inside here. Because I don't think it's fully waterproof. So what happened was it got flooded. And the ear pump itself got, you know, short circuit and completely died. So, got two replacement ear pump here. All the way from China here. One, one is just for another backup. So we'll be using one of them and install it in here. Got our battery here to test to make sure that they work before we do anything else. Our solder and our soldering gun here or iron here. And then we got our rechargeable battery here and we're good to go. Okay, so you want to test to make sure that the pump itself works before you do anything else. Because you don't want to put a, a not working one and two there and later find out that it doesn't work. So this is the way you find out if it works. Just hook up to some wire. And... There we go. That one works. So I tested this one. And this one doesn't work, so we won't have to get a refund from this one. But this one works, so we'll go ahead and solder this thing. So a good tip before you solder your pop into back into the case. Before you take out the all one, make sure you know where the connectors or the wire will connect to the terminals. That was easy to put it back. So each solder power ear pump is different so I'm not going to show you guys what you should do but to just make sure that you get your wires in the right terminals before you actually take apart you know your pump so I'm going to go ahead and solder this into my ear pump here and I'll show you the result all solder here no it's not the most professional job but it's good just to make it work okay so we're pretty much done here just gotta put on the lid and the screw cover here my solar air pump all set up here with the air holes here and it's been on and check it out we got water movement 